In the previous couple of demos, I talked about centering content, but I also want to talk about other ways to line things up. So I'm going to go to File and Open. Here in Chapter 3, I'll go to Folder Number 7, Alignment. And I have a bunch of boxes here. Okay, so let's say I was designing a menu. I'm going to hit the letter W. So my plan for my design is put a picture and then list the menu item. Picture, menu item, picture, menu item. What I want to do is put all these right down the middle. So the problem is I've got a lot of independent boxes. That is independent of that. This picture is independent of this. So if I selected all of these with the black arrow, I can go to my alignment features right up here. Align horizontal centers. That means move them left and right until all the centers line up. <clears throat> there we go. But based on the spacing, some of these are overlapping each other. Some of these are right on top of each other. So what I want to do is go to Window Menu, Object and Layout, and bring up the Align Panel. Okay, I've lined them up along their centers, but now I need to distribute them vertically. So right below, horizontally aligning the centers, I click distribute them vertically, move them up and down so they're all evenly spaced. But when I click that, that doesn't exactly look right. And that's because InDesign is doing the math between not only all the picture frames, but the skinnier type frames as well. And this is definitely not what I had in mind. So I'm going to go to File. And, okay, I can't revert that. So let's go to Edit, Undo. <clears throat> edit, Undo. Edit, Undo. Let's put it all back where we started. Now what I'm going to do is instead of InDesign trying to line up and do the math calculations between both picture frames and multiple text frames, I'm going to treat these two as one object by going to Object and Group, or Command-G. Okay, so I'll select these two, Command-G, select these two, and notice, notice the difference in the preview that I'm getting. This is a box, this is a box. When I select them both, it's showing me the outlines of both. But when I hit Command-G, now it's showing me a dashed line around both of them, indicating that they're kind of united together. They're a group. Select Command-G, select Command-G, select Command-G. Now let's try the same two buttons I used before, but now with groups. So I'm going to select them all, horizontally move them left and right so they line up down the center, and here's the magic. Distribute them vertically, and that is my menu layout that I was hoping to get in the first place. It's all about knowing how to deal with arrangements and the mathematical arrangements of those objects. Groups, aligning objects correctly. Practice with this one because I can guarantee you're gonna see this page on your midterm and I'm gonna ask you to do this again so you better know how to deal with groups. Just warning you, pay attention. All right, we'll move on.